Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today we're going to review a scotch which is very familiar to you. Macallan 12 Sherry Oak Cask. Stick around. So Macallan, I don't think there's a brand of scotch out there that receives as much love and as much hate as this brand does. Does it warrant the hate? Does it warrant the love? Well, that's what we're going to find out today on this review. This bottle uh, was the first scotch that I really fell in love with. It really embodies everything that I thought a scotch should be in terms of flavor, in terms of availability. It's everywhere. It's in every single liquor store that I think I've ever been in. When I first started buying this bottle, it was about $65. So just like everything else, the last few years, prices have really increased. And now we're upwards of $120. And the question that's really out there these days is, is it worth it? There's a lot of sherry finished scotches out there right now. There's some that are matured for about 10 years in old uh, bourbon barrels. And uh, the last two years they spend in sherry casks. Those are delicious. Valvini has one that I happen to really enjoy. But when it comes to scotches that have been exclusively matured in sherry butts, uh, I think Macallan is on up there in terms of the market share and notoriety. Now, a lot of fans of Macallan will tell you that uh, the new make of Macallan 12 is not nearly as good as what it used to be. I can't really speak to that, but uh, if you happen to have experience in the, in the old make and the new make, then please comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on the new make versus the old make. So let's give this a pour, put it through its paces and see what we think. So exactly what we expect when we see a sherried whiskey, really dark, uh, just a really pretty copper mahogany type color. Uh, seems to have a lot of uh, legs to it, uh, meaning that, you know, you can see the viscosity, you can see the legs dripping down there in the glass really slow. And when you have a lot of viscosity like that, it typically means it's kind of an oily whiskey. And that means it's gonna stay on your palate a lot longer than what it would if it were, you know, kind of watered down. So let's go ahead and get into this one. Let's nose it, taste it, and give it a rating. So one thing I'd like to note about Macallan 12 uh, Sherry Cask is the color. It's all natural. So right away, uh, some baking spices, cream brulee comes to mind, like a vanilla, burnt sugar kind of thing. Uh, 43 ABV, uh, very pleasant. I mean, you can smell this all day and it's not gonna make you feel like you've singed your nostrils, right? I get some cherries as well, cherry and vanilla. You know, for a 12 year old scotch, this is really rich and complex on the nose. All right, let's give it a taste. Hmm. <laughs> I just love this one. Baking spice at the front, the cherry kind of hits you on the side of the palate. That dark, rich fruit jumps out at you. I mean, there's just a lot of things going on for a 12 year old scotch. Um, I really like this one. You know, so as far as this being an introductory bottle, I just don't know anymore because the price is on up there about $120 US. You know, sometimes I kind of wonder if McAllen's getting a little too big for their britches. Um, <laughs> you know, they've, uh, they've spent a lot of money and just tons of bandwidth on marketing. Um, you know, they do a great job. Uh, you know, almost every bottle that I see, I think, Ooh, I want that one. Uh, the, the edition series, like one through whatever they're at now, like 10, maybe I purchased editions one and two a few years back and they were freaking awesome. But over the last few years, uh, the prices has driven up so much for those things, 150 to, you know, on up, very easy to drink, very welcoming. I love this one, but for $120, I would say the finish on this one is a little bit above medium. It doesn't last forever, um, but it's definitely there. It lets you know that it's there. I think that 43% ABV is just about right for this one. Would I like to see it at 45? Sure would. So with that said, let's give it a score. One through 10, 10 being best and one being worst. Um, you know, we the criteria is availability, taste, and value. Um, availability, 
I mean, it's a 10 all day, right? Um, taste, I, you know, I think we're up there right around a seven and a half, but the value, the value kills me. Uh, I'm just really tired of seeing McAllen go up in price. I just, uh, it's hard for me to keep up with, um, you know, for what it is, you know what I mean? Like if, if we're talking 120 bucks for a 15 year old whiskey, or maybe even a, dare I say an 18, then yeah, I think all day that's, that's worth it. But 120 bucks for McAllen 12 Sherry Cask, it's a big ask in my opinion. Um, obviously people are out there buying it because the price keeps going up. But for me, that lowers the score to about a seven and a half total aggregate. Um, it would be higher. And, and you know, that score is considering this being a 12 year old scotch, right? So I know there's better scotches out there. I know there's better sherry whiskeys out there, but for this bottle, uh, you know, seven and a half, I think is a fair score. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about this bottle. Uh, and especially like I mentioned earlier, if you've had the old make of McAllen 12 Sherry Cask, I would love to hear about it. Hey, if you like what we're doing here at Cask and Q, then go ahead and like, subscribe and smash that bell. It's gonna help us out a lot and we greatly appreciate it. And I hope I've earned your subscription today. We'll see you next time.